The Mixcraft University Virtual Instruments tutorial described MIDI controllers, which translate your playing into data that triggers virtual instruments. For example, if you play A440 on your keyboard MIDI controller, the controller sends data to your computer that tells the virtual instrument to play A440. Mixcraft can then record this data into the virtual instrument track. The advantage of recording data instead of audio is that you can edit data in lots of ways. Suppose you're writing a song and play a piano part in C, but later decide the key is too low for your voice and E would be better. Simple. Click the Sound tab to see a detailed view of the MIDI data in what's called the Piano Roll View. Click on MIDI Editing, choose Transpose, select All to transpose the entire track, then tell Mixcraft you want to transpose by four semitones. Click OK. Now the piano part has been transposed from C up to E. MIDI editing also makes it easy to fix mistakes. Here's a part with several mistakes. First, there's a wrong note. Click the eraser tool, click on the note, and it's gone. In another section, there's a missing note. Grab the pencil tool, choose the note length and velocity if the defaults aren't suitable, then click to add the note. If you're not sure whether you're going to add the note at the right pitch, click on the keyboard to hear the note a particular row produces. You can move and transpose notes, too. Use the cursor or pencil, click on the note, and drag left or right to change the start time and up or down to transpose pitch. To change a note's duration, click on the note end and drag. MIDI can also move the note starts so they snap to the grid you see in the piano roll. Zooming in shows the grid with higher resolution. At this zoom level, the grid shows one measure divisions. Zoom in further, and the grid shows half notes, then quarter notes, eighth notes, and so on. Snapping notes to the grid is called quantization and can give a part perfect rhythm. Let's fix a piano part with some timing problems. Go MIDI editing, Quantize. Choose the note value to which you want to quantize, and to move only the note start, select Start Times. Click OK, and now our part is perfectly in time. However, sometimes you don't want perfect, machine-like timing, but prefer to retain some of the human feel. So, Mixcraft lets you quantize part way to perfection. Let's try quantizing again, but this time, move the notes 75% closer to the grid. That definitely sounds less mechanical. Also note that when moving notes in the piano roll view, you can set a snap value so note start times snap to the grid as you move them. Quantization has another useful function. Mixcraft can display notes as standard music notation, and the translation of notes to notation is most accurate when you quantize to 100%. If you don't want to quantize the notes themselves, but just quantize how they look in notation, you can use the Tidy Notes option. And of course, you can print out sheet music at any time just by clicking on the Print button. You'll find other MIDI editing options like Velocities. Velocity corresponds to dynamics. Higher velocities correlate to louder notes. You can change them by a percentage, so if, for example, you want to make the overall part softer, choose a percentage under 100. Or to make a part louder, choose a higher percentage. There's even a strip along the bottom that shows the data produced by velocity, mod wheel, pitch bend, foot pedal, and other controls. 
Any existing data will be shown in bold, making it easy to choose the data you want to see. You can edit this data as well with the pencil, the eraser, and other tools. In this case, some of the velocities are really soft, while others are much louder. Just draw or click-drag the velocities as desired, or draw a line for something like a crescendo. Editing can apply to notes you select, but you can also edit notes based on particular velocities or durations. Suppose you want to limit the velocity of all notes above a velocity value of 115 to 115. Click on MIDI Editing, then click on Select by Velocity. Choose a range between 115 and 127, then click on OK. Now, select Velocities from MIDI Editing, click on Selection, and in the Force 2 box, enter 115. Click on OK, and now all the notes you selected will be forced to a velocity value of 115. You can even get really detailed with editing. For example, vary the velocity of just one note. Double-click on the note to open the note editor, or right-click and choose a context menu option. Drum parts are well suited to MIDI because quantization can give precise rhythms. But it's a chore to remember which drum sounds correspond to which MIDI notes. So, Mixcraft includes drum maps for particular drum presets that display drum names instead of note numbers. Choose a drum kit, choose its corresponding map, and you'll find editing is much easier.